Oh, how you doing? It's Jared. Now, is the sport of flipping bad for the overall bally song, right? Bad for the overall bally song knife design. Now, what I mean, there's this stigma out there that if it's not the best flipper in the world, then it's crap, right? Because you hear people say, especially with something like this Benchmade 63. This is a Benchmade 63, the 6X series in general. It's not the best flipper out there. It's just not. It's not balanced properly for that specific purpose, right? It's, it's really not. So people have this idea that it's just the worst knife ever. The, B, the Browse Blades B3 really got me thinking about this. Those knives came out, they were like $300. I mean, it was $300, $320, something like that. A little bit later, they were $270, you know what I mean? And then it kept going down, and now you can get one for about $220. And I don't know this for sure, but my theory is, is that the, the colors that they have left are just hard to sell because nobody wants that specific Bally song. There wasn't a whole lot of desire for that specific knife design. And it was because it's not the best flipper in the world. It's really not. And I mean, I'm never going to say that the Brass Blades B3 was the best flipper in the world. I bought one. It's actually on its way to Brass Blades right now because it had some problems. That's regardless. That's a different story, though. But it's not the worst knife design out there. There's still a lot of utility, a lot of cool factor, a lot of just general ooh and awe ah behind that knife design. It is still a good design. It is still a working blade shape, or still working blade design. You can do a lot of work with that. I mean, you can do a lot of work with a B3. You can do a lot of work with a 62. It's an excellent knife. You can beat the crap out of this thing and it's gonna keep taking it. You hear a lot of uh, the people say the Bally Song don't, doesn't have a lock. You know, there's no locking system, so it's stronger. It's a virtual fixed blade, which I completely disagree with. It's not a virtual fixed blade, but just on it is an excellent knife design i mean it comes with its own sheath it is like something that operates like a fixed blade it's not a fixed blade because it is just it is running on a pivot you know what i mean it's running on two different pins it is not a fixed blade it's never going to be as strong as a fixed blade unless you're talking about something that was made in like the ninth century it's not in the same class. However, it is an excellent knife design. There is a lot of utility behind this little knife design. The reason that it was first, you know, came out, the reason that it was so popular back in the day, it was easily manipulated with one hand. So, so many knives are easily manipulated with one hand now, and that's true. I mean, you can flick them open, you can flick them closed, especially when you come up with something like an access lock. This Chris Reeves right now that I've got in my pocket right here, I can operate this thing one-handed, no problems. I can sit here and do this thing all day. All day. I can actually line it up right. You saw me mess up the first time there. But, yeah, so it comes into people just dismissing the ballet song. It's moved on to the ballet song really being only focused for the art or the sport of flipping. That's the only thing people look at. And if it's not the best flipper in the world, then it's just not worth anything. And I think that dismisses the overall design of the ballet song. That dismisses the actual knife itself. It takes it from being a possible utility tool or a self-defense item or, you know, it takes it out of the realm of a general use knife and puts it only in that class of sporting implement, which I don't like. I don't think that's a good thing. I think it's a serious negative on a lot of knives. It really is. But is it bad for the overall ballet song? Is it actually bad? Is all of that actually bad for the actual ballet song itself, right? And really, I would say no. Even with all of that that I just said, I really would still say no. And the reason being is the focus, right? Because it brings the sport of flipping is getting huge. The Instagram and all of the, the photos out there, the you know 13 second videos of people doing some crazy things with these objects that are razor sharp and can seriously injure them. And they're still doing all these crazy things and throwing them in the air. And the focus that that actually brings on the ballet song itself, on the actual tool or the implement is making this knife design bigger and bigger. So it's actually making it grow overall. It's growing in the overall community as a design, but it's not growing in the direction that I think is proper. It's growing too much towards that actual sporting aspect when in reality, it's just a fantastic knife design. I think this thing is good. I think this design is good. The ballet song in general is good all around. I think it's good for a lot of things. And dismissing it only as a sporting implement is a negative. But at the same time, they're illegal. 
You know, they're, they're hard to get in some places. A lot of people don't like to carry them because they're illegal. There's a massive stigma around them. And so that's a serious negative that's going to almost destroy the ballet song. That's what's going to kill it, is the stigma that comes in because they're illegal and people thinking, that oh, it's just a gangster knife. It's only for gangsters. It's only for thugs and things like that. And so the sport being out there, the sport actually existing and giving the giving the you know the ability for people who aren't into knives to actually see people flipping and enjoying and having fun with these things is going to save the overall design of the knife I think in the long run. So is it a negative? Yeah, but I think really the sport of flipping is more of a positive for the actual overall belly song design than anything else. A little bit of a rant, y'all. Have a going.